And now, The Bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Oh, yeah. Happy New Year, campers. It's The Bonfire. We are live on Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. 844 Comedy 9 is the number. The Bonfire at SiriusXM.com is the email. I'm your host, Big Jokers, and that is your host, Dan Soder. So fluid. The so, new year. Such a great introduction. The crew is To a great back. new year. We're all positive. We've been just railing lines of MDMA. The crew is back uh, in the new year. We are better than ever. We've all adhered to our resolutions. Lou now has robot legs, making him <laughs> strong and capable. Finally. Lou, are you still in a committed relationship? Uh, no, she broke up with me. That's Shut not true. Shut the fuck up. Not because of the events that happened here. That's not true. Coincidence. She broke up with me yesterday. Oh, so now we can go full oh, hardcore. Yeah, dude. That's awesome. Is that, is she, that true? Yeah, I, I swear, yeah. Does she know? Did you give her that warning? Over the like, holiday break? Sorry, sorry, Soder. No, yeah. I'm, uh, listen, first I'm off. I'm taking back. You're actually being a good friend, and I'm just worrying about show content. No, me too. Isn't that a fucking it's a crazy story? That's show content. Uh, uh, over, then, the, over the break? Though, at the time of year, you would not break up, you'd think. Or you're just that ice cold that oh you're like, God. hey, it just, she gives you a card and she's like, why don't you, uh, why don't you open up the phone? <laughs> Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to one without me in it. Why you, uh, she's like, Lou, all I want for Christmas is my back blown out uh, by some big old BBC. <laughs> Hey, some things don't change. We're already talking about BBC. Max, Max King blown out by BBC. We speak in code. But it's very specific to the story. We have a specific code and jargon. Yeah. So wait, when was it? Was it before Christmas? Was it in between Christmas and New Year's? Let's take bets. I say, let's, I mean, this sounds already ice cold before Christmas. Wait, Lou, you're not Jewish, right? I am not. So you celebrate Christmas? Yeah. Oh, that Jew broad waited till after Christmas, dude. <laughs> you you got so? the gift first, yeah. Gift first? Yeah, dude. You're right. You know your own people. Yeah, she never gets a... Uh, Christmas gifts from all those black dudes. You think they're buying this way? No, man. She's just there. You don't to buy think she gets a nice, no, a comfortable pair of velour sweatpants. She's there to put new ports on her debit card and uh, and pizza and shit. Pay for pizza. <laughs> all right. That's so you're saying white, after to keep them white broads around for? Yeah, what, Lou. What was it? <laughs> Yesterday. Oh, after the New Year. Yeah, she's ready to start new. We're taking yeah. a break. We. She needs some space. Is that what she said? Yes. But that's it, though. Probably. Oh, that's it. What? She gets spaced out. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to give her some space. You want to get back together, though? Yeah, I love her. Really? Oh. Yeah. Oh. I'm... And we've been really just going at it hard. I was trying to get you over, but Jesus Christ, now I feel terrible. We read that. Wait, one. how long were you together for? Three years. Mm, I was hoping you were going to say a number that would make me go, fuck her. But <laughs> three years is a decent investment, I guess. This is a strong woman by your side. No, I don't. Well, if you give me a few days uh, and it's really over, then I will uh, open up the floodgates and tell you a lot more stories about it. Yeah, oh. A few days you're going to know. Oh, yeah. I mean, how much is space? A week? Less than a week? Oh, it was like space to think. It wasn't like, let's date more casually and try no, some other shit. I just needed a break from you, Lou. For a couple days. Yeah. Did she, wow. Why did she, she said it like you were a... a <laughs> like your assistant manager was mad at you. <laughs> I know. Why don't you just take the week off, Lou? Yeah, I fucked up over Christmas, though. It had nothing to do with you guys t uh, talking about our ex-black boyfriends. Oh. Did, did you she hear up? that? What? No, no. Okay. Uh, maybe she did, and, and she's just not telling me. I, I don't know. <laughs> do, you wanna, do, you, do you think we could have her on the show and she would be cool with it? No sense of humor, Dan. No oh, way. Yeah. We're, looking at, we're looking at her Christmas card. <laughs> I can't even see that. <laughs> oh, there it is. It's like one of those magic eyes because my, my my vision's so bad. I'm like, what? Oh, that's what that is. Oh, Lordy Lou. That's not a sailboat at all. <laughs> <laughs> that's a woman. I thought that was a bunch of zigzags. <laughs> oh, my oh, Lord. Jesus. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, is that an optical illusion? Nope. Uh, sorry to hear that, Lou. Lou, you I, know, hope, okay. I hope it. I hope it goes well because I know you love her. If yeah, if it works out, dude, it's because it was meant to be. And if not, she just it was your dick size, probably. <laughs> I don't think that at all. I think maybe she just needed. You think loose packing heat? Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. What? He's got like a maybe. I feel like he's got like welder dick. You know what? When a guy wears dress pants but he's not dressed up, I do always think he has a big dick for some reason. Yeah. Like wears dress pants as regular old pants, slacks, slack on slacks. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of heavy dick at like a Pearl Jam concert, and then lose a Pearl Jam guy. 
Thank Those you. Those big beard, like hippie weirdo types always have heavy dick. Just flat, big old platypus dogs. Yeah, and they're fuck. You know what it is? Because they're always thin too, which, which does help. But they always got just heavy dangle. I feel like. Yeah. Anytime you see like a hippie thing where like a bunch of people run around naked, those long hair, skinny guys always have floppy dicks. <laughs> so you're saying there's no hippie like communities of just like um... fat little dick guys? Yeah. Yeah, that's what they all become. I guess at some point, fat sort of auburn haired little dicks. <laughs> I just imagine it's like a commune of people that are just like tickling, like, hey, just joyful giggling. Oh, we have Isaiah and Callie. He's got some theories here. Hey, uh, hey, what's up, you guys? Isaiah, hey, what's hey, up? Hey, Happy what's New Year, buddy. On, hey, what's up, buddy? Um, I just wanted to tell Lou, man, like, you guys, I mean, he's he's got a successful job, and it's obvious that, you know, old girl is, I'm, I'm sure, I mean, with them being together for three years, I'm sure she had some type of alternative motive, but... I feel like maybe him and Jacob should go out chick hunting, man. Yeah. Like fuck her, man. If she if she played you like that, that's a gruesome too. Waited and waited until Christmas, and then a couple of days after New Year, she treated you like you were her resolution. Yeah. Like yeah. Oh, Isaiah laying it down. Time to deep. make some changes, and I'll tell you the next change that's going to be made is Lou and Jacob are going to be Eiffel Towering Debbie Golf. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what I like about. Isaiah's is coming and dropping. That's great. And me and, and, and me and Soda are going to be holding Ben down. And Soda's going to be holding his cheeks, making him watch. I'm gonna, no, you look up. <laughs> I don't. I don't disappoint you. No, you you look disappoint up, me. <laughs> You're not my football coach. I'm not going to take a lap. I'm not going to take a lap. <laughs> Thanks, Isaiah. Thank you, Isaiah. Right, you Happy New yeah. Year, dude. Well, um, Lou, good luck in the war of love. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Isaiah. Lou, you'll jump back in the game though in a heartbeat, dude. especially. So I, I, again, I don't know. Are you this prominent on other shows you do? I used to be. Uh, no, I used to be, but not anymore. Yeah. So I mean, this bring this is a high attention for you right here. So I'd say keep your options open, buddy. If she comes back tomorrow or the next day, you tell her you need a little more space. Yeah. <laughs> tell her you're going to take your space days. Okay, good. One day more than she needed. Or you tell her that your your people will get back to her. You have Jacob drop a call like he's your oh, secretary. Yes. You know. Right. And I'd be like, what about this? And send that picture he just showed. Okay. Yeah. The Christmas card of BBC porn. Or a Merc Face Andy breaks into her house with his face painted. We could go secret ops on this. We could go tactical. That is that is one approach. Imagine this. She's asleep. Deep REM. <laughs> deep, deep REM. Door busts open. <laughs> Boom! Clear! Flashbang! I like the fucking crossbow yeah. with the zip line going <laughs> through the window into the wall. Yeah. <laughs> and Merkface just taking it down from the neighbor's house. Sizz, it makes that noise. <laughs> but he really greased up the uh, he greased up the mechanism so it doesn't make a lot of noise. He comes through the window. She whips out the Kong dong. <laughs> goes right after Merkface, breaks her wrists, puts her down. Shows her a picture of Lou and goes, They're all healable wounds. They're clean cuts. And then he puts a picture of Lou in front of her and goes, He loved you. <laughs> Bam. This is why. He and then dexters he, her. Yeah, then he leaves. <laughs> I like it. So is those that an are the option? option. Those are, I mean, I think we could put that option on. Or, or, sexy photos with Deb. Mm -hmm. Deb it down. Oh, Double yeah. down. <laughs> I bet with minimal, minimal convincing, we can get Debbie to take some topless pictures with you, Lou. That we can go wild. I was going to say that. You went too. I was like. That was, you weren't guessing that very same thing? <laughs> no, no. Oh, sorry. You know what, dude? Some, maybe the show works because we're so not alike. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's like Paula Abdul saying. Oh, here's Jacob starting into a spiral into the spank bank. <laughs> <laughs> you talk about, talk about golf and Debbie. Dude, and we were. Uh, Jacob, I mean, he only has to type in uh, G O L and <laughs> Fing Debbie fills in every time. Do you think. Uh, yeah. We were, gonna t we were talking about so much. You know what I would do if I were you, Jacob? <laughs> if I were you, Jacob, what I would do is I'd look at the pictures of her where she doesn't look so good, and I would I like I, I would focus more on those. It'll make you more comfortable around her. Like, look at that big ass forehead in that one picture, right there. Eef. Yeah. What's up, Eric Jesus Stoltz and Mask? <laughs> I mean, what's holy up, Rocky Christ Dennis? Shit. What's up, Rocky Dennison? You could fucking watch. Uh, you could watch Star Wars. You could watch uh, Hateful Eight seventy millimeter on that forehead. Uh, Jacob, I love her stepdad. <laughs> I love her mom. Share. Not a lot of bad photos of her. There's right. not, but focus on those. How about that one up That's there? The only one. No, no, go up. Go up and over. Here? Second one. No, no, second one. 
No. Yeah, I no. love that. Up. Fucking Lou, I love that. All right. I want. Yeah. He's not fine. Yet. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, that right there. Come on now. Yeah. Come on. Look at that neck. See Lou Ferrigno. <laughs> <laughs> That neck's all veiny. Oh. Looks like an, just the neck of an angry ginger. Yeah. Just red, veiny. Ow. Um, Your Philadelphia Eagles got rid of Chip Kelly. I say it was still 49ers. Yeah, good. Both of, our, both of our coaches got let go of our favorite teams. I imagine Jim Tom Sula right now is in some sort of luncheonette eating a sandwich <laughs> off of wax paper. <laughs> you told me outside that... uh. Chip Kelly called the 49ers. Yeah, he called the Niners. <laughs> like they put him on hold. <laughs> hold up. Will you hold? He's still waiting. Can you hold for him, please? Sure. But, sure. I, imag- but I imagine because of his fast-paced offense, he's always just kind of trotting <laughs> in, in place. He's oh, like, he never stops. He's like Chris Rock on stage. He's yeah. just back and forth. He's like, he's like Vic, Vic, Vic. <laughs> Can't win with him. Tide, 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 and Michael Vic. Running quarterback never wins in this league. <laughs> Never wins this league. Hey, Coach Kelly, uh, we just need to brief the press real quick. Okay. Yeah. What's up? High-powered offense. What is- High-powered. I mean- no huddle. <laughs> Who ever heard of no huddle? It almost You almost just sound like a um, an old drill instructor. <laughs> like an old black drill instructor. It's not a good Chris Rock? I'm not an impression. It's pretty good. It's pretty goddamn good. It's not as good as your sheen. <laughs> I think, yeah, my sheen is my sheen is perfect. <laughs> starting off the new year, starting off the new year with some HIV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Party AIDS. It's almost uh <laughs> the um the Chip Kelly. If he ends up in San Francisco, mm-hmm. oh, I hope you get him so bad. I want you to look at that fucking dope face every week, win or lose. He looks completely unconcerned. <laughs> he has no idea. I don't think he knows what's happening. <laughs> He assumes, like, yeah, I wrote these plays. They were good. We're golden. We win. <laughs> Chip, it just says here to uh, throw it deep. <laughs> yeah, it says, yeah. 40, it says the score is 47-7. to 7. It's like, yeah, but, you know, come on. You see what we played out there? You see that one big, huge play that worked because we ran on a very fast offense? We should uh, spend all the, our money on a running back. But you don't use a lot of running backs. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. But you, have a lot, you already have a couple of great running backs. Nah, yeah. nah. Don't but get- we also want... The best. <laughs> I, want, I want the most expensive one. You got some pretty great uh, receivers. Receivers are for shit. Boo. Okay. What are we playing? Pop Warner football here? <laughs> receivers. I need a man that can run the ball. I need very quickly to. I need to give the guy the ball and have him run directly into the line and get smashed. <laughs> Stand up. Not even talk about it. Get back on that line and do the exact same play right into that same huge line for sixteen games. <laughs> Wait, I thought DeMarco <laughs> Chip Kelly's like, well, I thought DeMarco Murray was the best running back last year. Guess you're not so good. <laughs> yeah. so like, whoa, well, well, Mr. NFL rushing champion. Looks like you're not so good when you know those big old holes to run through. He huh? really is evil. He's got, he's got George W. Bush face. He's I'm got, you. yeah, he's got evil uh, military admiral face. Like, he's the guy that's like, bomb him. <laughs> but there's civilians there. You're going to kill thousands. I said. Bomb them. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to wipe out half the infrastructure of the Middle East. I'll give you two hours. Send in the mercs. Yeah. <laughs> and then my team comes in. <laughs> he always does some shit like that. Then I get to let my guys in. <laughs> the visor. Never trust a man that's comfortable in a visor. Oh, he's so comfortable in it, too. <sighs> oh, my. Yeah. You know who like... else? I bet Ben loves visors. Oh. Orange. I guarantee Ben's got a collection of visors. And they are stark white. Uh, no way. They're orange, dog. No, 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 no. no. They offset the thing. If we can get Ben in here today, I'm going to ask him about the orange. <laughs> I'll, I will hey, absolutely uh, hey, ask ben. him. Oh, Ben, you are really partial to, like, cautionary orange. Did you? Are you like Batman? Did a cone, <laughs> did a parking cone kill your parents? <laughs> you use the thing that you fear the most <laughs> against criminals? It took me years to get over my fear of cones. Where is it? Where's the flashing stop sign? <laughs> he just goes after fucking construction signs. <laughs> Where's the slow head? Keep left my ass. Merge right. Double fines. Man, it is all orange. <laughs> it's like a professional wrestler. Look at his smile. It's got a thumb. It was like they superimposed fa- a face on What it. a great threesome. Ben, not like sexual threesome, but like three guys hanging out, would be uh, Ben, Chip Kelly, and Jim Tom Sula. 
I gotta see Jim Tom Sula. We were talking about making a making a murderer. We're not gonna no spoilers because Jay's only on episode three. <laughs> no spoilers. Um, but these look like three crooked cops. These are like Ben, Tom Sula, and Chip Kelly. Where's Tom Sula? Jacob. For Jacob, where's your Bing, dog? Jacob's getting more box over the break. <laughs> Joe List does this thing where he keeps saying dog. He's got me doing it now. It's really annoying the shit. Jacob! Out. He won't answer you. Hey, sorry. You're just going shutting down on me? Did you get any more did you get any more action over the break? I did not. You did not? No. Not even the same one? No. <sighs> Like it's all right. Keep that. banging. You're taking him off our, his trail. All right. I want to know what's going on. How? See? You got the stink on you now, so it's just, now you just got to go yeah. put it out there, buddy. But I see you wore the sweater today because uh, Golf and Debbie's coming in. And I like that. I like when Thank you try to look nice for the... Uh, I just threw this on. The Why, oh, this whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you smell like cool water? <laughs> Why do you sound like dollar store imitation cool water? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I just imagine her, her walking the building. He's like, hey. Oh. Look who it is. Never D. 26th, happy 2016. Ben. <laughs> looking good. I want to read on Wikipedia correct that you actually shot a 70 once? At Sawgrass. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Anyways, I was working on my approach game recently. And I noticed <laughs> uh, when I tee off with a wood. Do I just, can you get behind me and kind of show me here? Like, what do I, because my elbow just seems to be, I can't get the I'm elbow position up. right. I imagine uh, Jacob's daydream at home. You know how you do that in the shower where you daydream how a situation should go in your head? Mm -hmm. Like, when I play back, like me beating people up in like cool scenarios with of like, uh, we've talked about this, like Prodigy Smack Your Bitch Up or some right. cool music behind Absolutely. you. Absolutely, but you picture also like it actually going down. Yeah, like how it Have goes Have you ever down. walked away from like uh, even an aggressive situation yeah, then where you, nothing happened, where afterwards you you completely mapped out your first five funny. moves? Yes, I call that doing the Bernie Getz every time I'm on the train. I always usually close it out where I'm holding him in a headlock, but where it's like he's bent over in front of me and I'm holding his head. Yeah. And uh, but I but I have it's a real side one though. Okay, it's not like a, it's not a guillotine choke. We're talking a side headlock here, but his body is back. I'm looking down at his back. Got it. And I knock him out with a. I lift my foot to my the right face. Arm, back. I lift my foot yes. to the face. Like a do like a donkey kick. That takes him out. And then I and then I and then by the way, because I'm not a piece of shit, I gently release him to the floor. I, like I put it. him down. Yeah, just drop like this. You just hear the sad thud, thud of a dead, lifeless body. Well, not dead. No, knocked cause out. I, I, no, no. Because I, then what I do is like I hold him by the shirt and I place him down on the ground. Because I'm not trying to send him to the hospital. I just want him to know he fucked with the wrong bull that day. Yeah. My in my scenario, mm -hmm. I am just like a tornado of quick hands, Steven Seagal esque chops, and then for me, it always ends with. Cigarette out of the soft pack side light <laughs> on the public transportation. Why not? I already broke a couple rules. Might as well break all of them. Oh, I'm looking at Jim Tom Sully. You're right. He looks like a crooked <laughs> cop. Yeah. It looks like he really does look like a crooked cop. Here's the, he looks like a North Chicago. Like, here's the deal. I got a bag of cocaine with your name on it in 15 years. He actually, minimum. He actually looks like the police sketch artist from Making a Murderer. I'm, as you I'm say just it. a pencil. <laughs> he really does. Yeah. I'm just a pencil. I don't know. I'm just a pencil for your thoughts and ideas. Yeah. <laughs> you love the accent on those guys. It's something happens in the Midwest. The, but it's like whenever there's crime, <laughs> Fargo season two, and now making a murderer, just so, that's the perfect accent for crime. Morgan in Florida wants to talk about making a murderer, says, uh, yeah. I can't weigh anything. Hey. Yo, yo, yo. Happy yeah. New Year. I don't know. I like it how you guys just go from like the the wildest nonsensical stuff to the making of a murderer. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah. As a lawyer, that documentary, I'm not going to say, it, you know, spoil it, that it'll make you, you will be sick to your stomach. And I'm so glad it's getting so much attention. Yeah, I feel like it's definitely, it's, it's all it's doing so well because I assume this is all leading to, I mean, as I can tell in the first three episodes, is that like cops really are can really be pieces of garbage as i was watching it i was like white you know like it's really catching on right now on netflix because white people are like oh, the justice system can be against you every black every you black mean rodney king really got beat yeah. Yeah. i mean it really is but it's funny like to think like every black person that watches making a murderer they're like oh well this is how every trial is it's like, like they fuck us you know it's, yeah and white people are like uh, alarmed, like guys. Petition dot com. There's a guy. I read an uh, article about a, a black dude in Philly that 
uh, got harassed into signing. It was in Rolling Stone about this guy in Philadelphia in the 80s that got harassed into signing a confession, put in prison for a crime he didn't commit. He had an alibi. They cleared him with DNA, and he still isn't out of pres- prison. Is it Mumia Abu Jamal? No, it's not that. It's this guy. Fuck, I got to look it up. Well, I'll look it up on the commercial and find it. I smoke a lot of pot, and that's not good for when you read magazines because you're like, <laughs> I just know the story. And how it There's a the guy feel, and in I was- Philly. <laughs> <laughs> now, he is in jail for like since like the 80s or something. Where was Reagan in office in the 80s? Okay. Now, <laughs> he's like a good dude. <laughs> Larry Flint even said, this is pretty effed up. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, I'm not going to like, I'm not. So he's in prison. Yeah. I'm not here to rip chops. <laughs> I'm just. But yeah, I agree with you, Morgan. In Florida, it's uh, this documentary. Yeah, is awesome. I'm I'm enjoying it so far. I think the first one was a little confusing, and then now I'm getting like I'm starting to realize who everybody is. And here's takes a another second. one uh, called "Murder on a Sunday Afternoon" uh, about a case in Jacksonville, Florida. Oh, that's that's uh, another swampy place where there's yeah. like good white trash. I watch all I watch all of those things. I know all the big. I said the the West Memphis Three was obviously the, the, yeah, the most documented. I, gotta, I have to watch. You haven't watched any of those? I can't believe. No, I um, and then there's always the ones about the, uh, I like the Ken and Barbie murders, the ones from like, uh, like Ontario, Canada, where it's like, there's no crime ever. And they, oh, fucking, that's just a brutal one. It was like a husband and wife and they like raped and killed her little sister. Jesus. And then she said, like, she made the deal when they caught, they, they, they killed her and like buried her in cement. It was like a crazy thing like that. Then when they found everything or, you know, they caught them, <laughs> excuse me, the wife, and her, the girl's older sister made a deal saying, like, you know, well, I was kind of bullied by my husband's crazy. Like, he makes me do this stuff where he was going to kill me and all this shit. Mm-hmm. And she only did, like, uh, she got like four or seven years, something what? like that. Four, maybe, maybe, maybe up to 11, I'll say. Maybe I'm making there's, all this up. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't even matter. Let's just say it's 11 years. It's yeah. like a high number, 11 years. And um, she made the deal. But after she made the deal and the other guy got, like, life in prison or maybe even death penalty, I don't know. Mm-hmm. But, uh... They they found a videotape of her like laughing about it and like, oh. and like and like wearing her little sister's clothes and like they were like role playing. It was like so oh, like what? It was it's it's grotesque and it's almost like what a piece of. And she got fun- out and she still got out. It'd be funny if the guys there she is. Yeah, the Bernardos. If the if the guys plea deal was this where he's like, I mean, come on, look at her. She's like pushy, so it's obvious she put me. <laughs> this. It's her sister, dude. Come on, they got bad blood. You know how chicks just claw at each other and they're like. <sighs> Hey, can I get a dude sidebar? <laughs> He's like talking <laughs> with the judge. Hey, can I bro out these for a sec? <laughs> hey, bro? Sir, bro? Let me call <laughs> Your honor, bro? I like uh, Tony Roberts' joke about going in front of judges how scared black people are. He goes, I call him everything. He goes, uh... <laughs> Whose joke is go, this? Uh, Tony Roberts. He says, your majesty. <laughs> he goes, Tony, Mr. Roberts. He's like, yes, your majesty. <laughs> He's like, uh, it's your honor. He goes, it is my honor, your highness. <laughs> <laughs> um, they got advice for Lou Rashad in Kansas City. Oh, KC advice? This is going to be sick. Hey, what's going on, fellas? What's, what's up, Rashad? Rashad? Yeah, a fan of the show. Hey, Lou, man, you split with your girl or whatever. You guys were together for three years? You say? Yes, sir. Uh, I think she's trying to press you into marrying her, man. Oh. Murkface Andy agrees with you, Rashad. Oh, that's not a bad call, too. So this isn't a New Year's resolution to get rid of Lou. Maybe it's to make him realize how much he wants to be with her forever. Oh. And do you want to be with her forever? Yeah, but I don't want to be pressured into a ring. Oh, but this is what it is. This is. That's That's where it starts. She's. She's at that point where she's like, we've been together for three years. If we're not doing anything more than this, you know, I need some time to myself. Here's what we do. Rashad, you're a black dude, yeah? Yeah. Let's fly Rashad out here, try to get him to bang Lou's chick. If she doesn't do it, if you let that butterfly go and it comes back, Lou. Then it's yours. Uh, Yeah. uh, (laughs) Rashad's in. (laughs) Just that easy. We got Rashad in. I don't like how quick. I don't like how quick Jacobs binging pictures of black dudes banging white chicks. But then when I want to see Jim Tom Sula, it takes him twenty eight minutes. He's just he's doodling on his pad, probably that same picture. Yeah, it looks like it looks like ice cream covered in hot fudge.
Jacob loves <laughs> others' misery, so we're not focused on him. Jacob Did this girl loves. just diarrhea all over herself? <laughs> I'm like, hey, what's Jim Tom Sula? Get a picture of Jim Tom Sula. He's like, yeah, big headed, fucking go fuck himself. <laughs> Look at this Nubian prince blowing out this Aryan puss. <laughs> just onion, just blooming onion in that thing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he drove an axe right through a wall. <laughs> Rashad, thank you for calling in, man. Thank no you, problem. Rashad. Luck, Take care, brother. Black dude's uh, dropping wisdom on you today. Do, Lou. That's the best kind of advice That's for handling yeah. for handling bitches, bro. Uh, yeah, white guys don't have. You got to go to a pimp. Yeah, I do appreciate it. White guys have listen advice. All my advice is gonna be like, well, what's she saying? Yeah, pimps be pimping. Mm -hmm. That's what they got to do. We got to take a break. No, already. Yeah, dude. Can we take one more call, please? Okay. Don't bring up Tom Sula like you're off the hook, Jacob. Here he is. Oh, look, it's your former head coach. Not my head coach. But my we are. Teams. I got to say, we're getting pretty soon. To By the way, if they come in right for the golf show right on time, it's definitely to avoid us. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But please let Ben come in here and do some pull-ups on the bar again. Oh, my God. And Jake, remember, we're trying to get her. I got an idea. I got an idea. What if we don't acknowledge Deb, just Ben, to get to the bottom of this orange thing? Okay. I that like way, that. that way, it's two birds, one stone, because it's telling Deb, like, hey, yeah, of course you're the hottest girl ever on the greens, on the links. Mm -hmm. But we need to talk to Ben in his orange. We got to get to the bottom of this Dude, what if it's ridiculous like, orange thing. What if Ben's like, yeah, it's a fund I started for my sick kid, and we're just like, oh, God damn it. <laughs> Give me one of your dumb orange fleeces. <laughs> yeah. I'll take two, please. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> this is my son, Benji. He has a blood disease. Yeah. Like, ah, fuck. He died when he was nine years old. The perfect age to have real heavy feelings for and then lose. <laughs> you know that age once you're used to them being around. They have There's just no looking back. You're like, how could I leave this person who relies so much on me? <laughs> and then they leave you. <laughs> and you're left with Anyways. nothing but orange. All right. We're not going to take another call. What we're going to do is... And by the way, oh wait, oh, all, right, all right, all right, all right, all right. One more, because you're right. That just popped up. Trisha in Michigan. Hi, Trisha in Michigan. Hi. 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 So I have just, I was just calling to say, from a female perspective, the last guy that just called in, um, I think he has the nail on the head. I you think, think that's what it is? Yeah, I think she was expecting a proposal, probably for Christmas. Oh, or New mm. Year's. Or yes, or New Year. Um, I mean, because that's a big one. I mean, Valentine's Day and Christmas, those are the two big ones. Oh, I'll just sit on Christmas, things. dude. Chinese food and a proposal. Yeah. But, I really mean, go hard Jew. Yeah, diamonds <laughs> and Chinese food. But, I mean, if that's not where he's at and that's where she is at, I mean, maybe it's, maybe they're better off. Trisha, how does he mend this, though? Does he tell? Does he acknowledge that this is what it could be and then explain why he doesn't want to do it? I think there needs to be a serious adult conversation, yes, instead of a shady breakup, you know? Yeah. Lou, you, the whole I need distance thing. Lou, you want to marry this dingbat? Whoa. I guess. <laughs> In my Whoa. own time, yeah. Eventually. Yes. But not on her goddamn schedule. Yeah, pointing to her ring finger right. like, yeah, yeah by the time. Way, by the way, why don't you tell her it wasn't even her new year? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she wish new year still coming up. Tell her you were waiting for whatever that is. Rosh Hashanah. <laughs> Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah. Yom I think Lou's a very good boyfriend because we've asked him out to go to a bunch of places and he says, no, I'm I'm taking my girl out. Really? So. Yeah, so, see, I mean... Well, Pearl Jam plays every night of the week somewhere. So maybe she's going to miss it. She's going to come back. She's like, you know what? I got this guy. I don't need a ring. It is what it is. Yeah, maybe she'll figure her but, shit out. But, Trisha, do you think it's best if he addresses the elephant in the room and is just like... This isn't what I want. I, well, I'm not going to call an elephant. I've never seen this woman. I'm hey, sure she's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. He's a good-looking hey, guy. And our whole show is sponsored by Zane. <laughs> Lou, go address that elephant in the room. <laughs> Put a ring on that elephant. <laughs> Lou, feed her. It's like a peanut. Oh, my God, the size of that ring. Oh. <laughs> so we're going to have to charge you. That's extra gold's got to go in that thing. I also think it's inhumane to put a golden ring on an elephant. Or you get like a belt extender for the ring. Yeah. Or just like a, thing, a button that connects on either. There's a rubber band in between it. Elastic. That'd be fantastic. Trisha. Oh, my gosh. You guys are too much. <laughs> Thank you for the female perspective on the loose situation. You're very welcome. Bye. Bye, Trisha. Bye. Um, when we come back, just so you know, and it's good because Trisha, I liked her voice. It was very sexy. It put me in the mood for some romance. <gasps>
We are doing this today, boys. Uh, we Guess actually only doing. have told Lou about this. We yeah. should have probably also told Mark Face and Jacob, but it doesn't matter. It's happening. Yeah. Uh, we're going to do some system of selection. And what today is, is the Monday Toad the Wet Sprocket Slow Dance Party. And we're all going to pick names from the hat and see uh, what other guy in here we slow dance with to one of the three Toad the Wet Sprocket songs we're going to be playing after each break. Yeah. Two one verses guy, of man-on-man slow dancing. Yeah. And uh, and then we come back and we, and we talk about our experiences together. We're going to put all three of your names in a hat, and Jay and I will each draw our dancing partner. One of you will sit out each song. <clears throat> First song will be... Let them know, Jay. Walk on the ocean. So get ready to be romanced. Don't, you gonna give a little preview of it, Lou? <clears throat> and we will have video element on our Instagram. And on, yes, so we're gonna be up on Instagram and Twitter, which is uh, at the Bonfire SXM. Um, check it out. We're gonna be putting it up there after each one. It's Toad the Wet Sprocket Dance Slow Dance Party. <laughs> Monday. Monday. Monday's Toad the Wet Sprocket Slow Dance Party. Are you mad at me? That I'm not even know. sort of mad at you mad at you this song playing impossible you're gonna be lucky if i don't fucking kiss your mouth while we're dancing <laughs> it's the bonfire we'll be right back to the bonfire with big j okerson and dan soder and now back to the bonfire with big j okerson and dan soder that was central was tender Mine was tender. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. Lou and I are platonic, and I kind of felt that in our dance. At the Bonfire SXM on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, Sirius XM 95, Comedy Central Radio. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big Jokerson. And we were just doing our Toe the Wet Sprocket Slow Dance Party Monday. S slow Dance Monday. Slow Dance Party Monday? Monday's Toe the Wet Sprocket <laughs> Slow Dance Party. <laughs> so we just drew... I'm being consistent. We drew names... Out of a hat. And Jay danced with Merc Face. I mean, passionately. Craig this back up for a sec. Passionately. Look at this angry acoustic. Now back at the Fuck you, Dad. Yeah, you what? Uh, um, Toad just was awesome. I <laughs> mean, Lou and I. Think I, I can I, nail it. I got Lou. Lou Dog. I got Merc. And I'm not going to lie. It started rocking. started waltzing. Yeah, that was Lou trying to, like, run from feelings. Yeah, but then by the end, by the end... It did get more tender by the end. Head on my shoulder. But I feel like you were like... Not only was nobody leading your dance, mm -hmm. you weren't... Neither of you were leading. You were looking to me and Merc face for leadership. Because you guys had all the passion in the room. We did, and I've never danced with a woman taller than me. But this time I did, and I'll tell you what, I didn't hate it. No. Did you feel I, safe? Oh, I, I made Merc Face do the his hands on my shoulders. <gasps> I went low. Yeah. And uh, I did a lot. I did some face rubs into his arm bush. See, Lou and I, I've never had an equality like we had. There was yeah. a respect. That's what happened? That it just like immediately like, oh, we're complete equals. But it's also, and because of that, it's like we have to see who the alpha is, and then you decide just to be we a team. We tested it out. You know what? We both did it. Yeah, I, I he went alpha for a little bit. He spun me. I put him on my shoulder. Did you feel feelings? I always feel feelings when I look at Lou. Well, that's good. I want to see Lou happy. Barb in Texas. She wants to talk to Lou. Barb. Yes, sir. Hi. How are you, Barb? Hi. I'm wonderful. How about yourself? We're doing all right. We're doing good. <laughs> well, that's good. What do you think about Lou? Are you uh are you calling in to give an opinion about Lou's situation? I am. How do you feel? <laughs> well, let me premise it like I told you earlier. You need to read the book by Steve Harvey. I think it's Act Like a Man but Think Like a Woman. Of course. And when you do that, it, I read it twice. It's, I I've been through lots of relationships and I just want to keep in Keep on that level so I know what I'm doing, because I don't. Keep your blade okay. sharp. Man, Absolutely, you Bob. You can't be pressing no woman to get mad. Yeah. That's okay. my Steve Harvey. So what, what Steve Harvey says, one woman, he told a woman, you know, he said in the book, one woman went ahead and followed his He story. said one woman was Miss Universe, and she wasn't. <laughs> no, she wasn't Miss Universe. What, she was just an average girl dating this guy for several years, and she was waiting for that ring and waiting for that proposal, and it never happened. So she gave him an ultimatum like Steve Harvey said. Give him 30 days, give him three months, whatever your desire is, and she did. And he didn't act on it, 
So she moved out. She moved in by herself somewhere. She had a new boyfriend. They had dated him for five months and just a knock at the door. The old boyfriend comes to the door, gets on one knee, has a diamond in his hand, and she says no. Well, the boyfriend that's sitting there watching this all happen is taking notes. And by taking notes, I mean he realized he had a gem and he wasn't going to let her get away, and they got engaged and got married. Just something I thought you might like to think about. I have. Can you live without her? Can you live without her? Or yeah. you just can't live with her? Thank you, Barb. Thank you You're so welcome. much for the You're most welcome. confusing story I've ever heard in my and life. And if it don't work out, grow a mustache, pimp! <laughs> I more like to find myself from the relationship advice of Cedric the Entertainer, who tells me, if the ass ain't fat, boot that. <laughs> um, 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 yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> I, I, I do the Bernie Mac. I was just going to do Dangerfield. I was going to turn into Black Dangerfield. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you exactly where that was going. What about D.L. Hewley? Now why all the time? Mm, 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 mm. Like a, Star, like a Star Wars robot. Uh, Barb, thank you for trying to spread the word of Steve Harvey. I'm I, I, sure. I, I, I want to tell you. I want to tell you one thing. Did you you got know? one thing. Been, <laughs> one thing. I've been dating my boyfriend for almost four years. I'm a little older, and I've been married a couple times, and we okay. both agreed not to do it. But he went out of town for all of Christmas to the day after New Year's with his other and family. I, he <laughs> with my boy, he, no, he no, he went and bought a 1966 Mustang for four thousand dollars in California. I live in Texas with him, and so he went out there, and I thought, he goes, "Well, how you doing?" I said, "You know what? If I knew you were going to be out of town for New Year's, I would have put an ad in the paper, and then I would have probably called you a few days later and told you I got married." And he asked me, "Why did I tell him that?" Because I felt like it. <laughs> Wait, so you're just uh, not, you're just mean to your boyfriend. I'm mean. I am. I am. All right, Barb. You guys have a great day. Okay, you, thanks you a lot. Too. Thank you, Barb. Um, that was uh. She's got like that. Uh, uh, she runs a tow yard energy. <laughs> <laughs> Where she's like, eh, well, I don't know where your paperwork she's sweet. is. She's really sweet, but like, like, it's like, in the car, baby. My hands are tied. I got to, but Barb, I got to get to the car in the lot. The paperwork's in the car. I can't. You should have thought of that before you put the thing in the car. Oh, look, Steve Harvey's on. Turn it up. <laughs> <laughs> now, why women uh, stop treating your man? Stop treating him all like bullshit. Rub, rub your shit in his face. <laughs> you gotta put it on him, lady. <laughs> uh, Barb just called up and was like, she basically, I don't even know what that story was about. Jack you know in California, what? I don't even want to hear your toad with the Sprocket songs. We already have three perfect ones. Oh, yeah. come on. Sorry, I'm, Zach. This is, hey, this is Zach and Kelly, the one of the blonde hooies, the original Latino. Oh, oh shit. All right. Well, well, you well, got to go and flex your badge. Zach, like my apologies. That. You have to tell them to put that in the show notes there when you call in because we, I wouldn't disrespect you like that, my friend. My yeah, apologies. You know what I like about that? Zach just pulled like when a cop shows up to a crime scene and they're hey. like, hey, it's blocked off. Yeah, how you doing? FBI. I'm All on right. the job. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> That's right. I pulled out that badge. Yeah. Really bad. What are you, uh, what's your Toad the Wet Sprocket song? Yeah, it's from Buffy the Vampire Slayer movie. It's called <laughs> Little Heaven. Little Heaven. It's the next song playing, oh, Zach. So why did you here. have to go and ruin the surprise, bro? Lou, I, or, Zach, I, Zach, let me tell you, this whole idea was born in my brain because the other day... On HBO, yeah. Buffy the Vampire Slayer's on With prom my- scene. I go, oh, that's right. I love this song. Love this band. They mm-hmm. have the perfect uh, sad prom music. Yep. Love. Yeah. I love Luke Perry, hey. so I'm involved. I texted you this the other day, last yeah. night. What was the song I said? Bl- little, little, little Heaven. heaven. It was in there. Great minds think alike. They, they do they indeed, from Zach. Santa Barbara. They're from Santa Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, thanks, Zach. Oh, Toad Wet Sprocket. Santa Barbara. Didn't know, I didn't know that at all. I didn't know their origin story. Thanks, Zach. Um. Rhonda in Connecticut, I don't even know what this is saying you're talking about, but I saw the word naked pictures, and it gets me all goosed up. Okay, it gets me goosed up, too, guys. But um, I've been listening to you guys since the summer, and I heard you guys talk about one time finding some ne- naked pictures of your friends, you know, mothers and fathers and whatever. Well, when I was in college, um, I went to go help one of my girlfriends in North Dakota move, help move her uncle, who was going to a new base in North Dakota. So I went up, I'm helping them, and I find all these black and white pictures from the 70s and, and, and early 80s, black and white, naked, big, long cock, everything. <laughs> and, he, and he's a photographer in the military, so he must have had cameras right on it, you know. Yeah. And the women, 
everything. So here I am, I'm 19. You know, I had sex a couple times, but I kept thinking about it and thinking about it. And one of the reasons why I was there, because I was thinking about a transfer from my college from Jersey. So sure enough, I transferred um, about a year later, and I end up hooking up with her uncle. What? And I seduced him. Yes! I seduced him just so that he can give it to me like that. Now, he was like 40, 42 at the time. I'm about 23. Yeah. My ass so good. I mean, and everybody thereafter had to be just like him. If not, I didn't want him. So, you know. So, wait, ba- yeah. basically, so he was like your sexual prototype. He was like the one. Yes. And even to this day, I'm 50 years old. Even to this day, if I can't get off with my husband, I'll think about those pictures and I'll be like, ah! And I'm there wow. every what, single time. What was his name? His first name? His name was Brian. His name was Brian. And he was Uncle in the military. Brian. Giving you that Uncle yeah. Brian dick. And I had known him for years. And he was just this, you know, he never even looked like he was a big dude or anything. Yeah. He was about 11 inches of just Jesus. big ass balls and a big dick. I was like, and you know, being so young, we're, I was only messing with boys. So I finally got a man. I was like. Well, yeah, you also got a very well endowed man. I don't think that. Yes, <laughs> it's I like, did. You also got a fucking yes. carnival show. You said you have a husband now. No, what, what, I did. You said you have a and husband. I, you know what? And I and I did him for like the whole summer before I started school, and then um, then you know he was in another part and I was in Grand Forks, and then I just stopped it at that point because I thought I was going crazy, and which I really was. But after that, every every guy I would do like tests. One time I got punched in the face because when this guy showed me his stuff, he was all little and everything. I was and I laughed like <laughs> he was like, oh, you think everything's a joke? Jesus. And then when he ended up punching me in my face, you know. But he well, I wouldn't have done that, life, but I but, get it. <laughs> what, yeah, an, yeah, what, an yeah. ins- what an inspiring story for big dicks. Yeah, I'm telling you. I have, I've you gone know, through domestic you know, violence. And, it was old, and you know, with young girls, I don't, I don't think it's good that young girls go with um, older guys because, you know, it can mess them up. Because it messed me up. Because ever since then, it was like nobody my age was never a You need a seasoned you know? 11 inch dick. Oh, you need a nice a silver season. haired fox. <laughs> you need yeah, a guy that looks like yeah. he had <laughs> A guy that a guy that unbuttons his wrists before he fucks. Yeah. Where he's like, my well, husband is my husband is nine years older than me just because you. of that. Good for you. But I have a qu- <laughs> How big is he? Oh, he's good. He's about ten and a quarter. Jesus. You know, I mentioned it a couple times, but he'll do. You know. So if you if I you're not get, if you're not getting off from that, you have to go to imagination of one half inch bigger. <laughs> Yeah, Can we, yeah uh, I'm good. I'm good now. That's I'm all good. it is. That's where your ocean level rises. <laughs> that's right there. Yeah. That is the tipping point. Uh, it's not it. Wait, yeah. just bend a little to the left. Oh, dude, I just saw an orange uh, thing. No. Yeah. 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 Right. No way. Uh, I just walked Full out. Full orange. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Rhonda. We just got excited. We just found an older guy for you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Rhonda, thank you for the call. Crazy, crazy story. Yeah, that Uncle D. How I mean, much, it, how, it must, uh, she must have. Oh, we should ask this. I get so excited about that. I wanted to know if she just like hardcore threw it at him. She didn't really say. But Rhonda, did have. you throw? Did you hardcore? Are you shutting? The, are you shutting the curtains? I, I gave it to him. All of it. No, but I mean, did you 100%. approach him like, "Hey, let's fuck," or was he? Yes. You, you know what? I, I try to act like, "Hey, you know, it's been a long time since I've seen you," and then little by little. Within the, like six days, I was in bed with him because I would have did it the first night, but I didn't want my girlfriend to find out. You know, I was trying to duck and hide, but it was just good. It was good. Yeah, it was good. Ah, thank you, Rhonda. Good. You're welcome. You're oh. welcome. Thank you, Rhonda. Jay's back. That was oh, awesome. Jay just waved at Ben, and Ben just itched his head. He, he almost made the wave and stopped himself from waving to itch his head. And now he's shutting the curtains on the studio. Do we have an enemy? They hate us. They hate us? You know that for a fact, Jacob. You're nodding oh, your head. I'm agreeing. You're just assuming. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, we find out. Shows to shut the curtains. <laughs> Jacob, I swear it's to God. It's a golf show. What are Jacob, they doing in there? <laughs> Jacob, I swear to God. nudity on the show for the first time. <laughs> She's like, I'm going to show you guys how I squirt with a tea <laughs> With a tea pencil. You want to see me fire teas out of my sniz for a half hour? <laughs> like a crossbow. Boom. <laughs> You want to see me play that? What's the golf tee, the IQ game where you jump over the thing in the triangle? Want to see me play that with all snatch muscles? <laughs> Jacob, 
On my life, I'll give you $100 if in 15 minutes you, know you go open the so. curtains now, of that show. Do you need any more confirmation? If you go over there and open the curtains while they're on the air, Jacob, open them both. don't say a word, just open them both and Jacob, then come back in here. Jacob, I got, $100. I got 40 of it right here. 140 uh, Come on, that's an HR thing. I can't, dude. You can't, you can't right, go I have open to, those There curtains. we go. Let's do it. 140 smackers. <laughs> Right there. It's on the table. Yeah. Cold cash oil for you to open there. <laughs> to it's open. not the money. You just have to open both both curtains you have to open. It's not, it's give not the, the money. Just give them thumbs up. Just give them thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, don't, let, make it seem like you're doing it for them. You know what? Like, not I'll take even. care of this for you guys. Not even. Jacob, you can get that money no, I... if you do one curtain, the curtain that faces us. And a thumbs up. <laughs> that's, just, that's not a hundred dollars for me. I'll go. I'm now I'm dialing back to forty for that. Right. For a hundo, for me, you got to go carefully and slowly open both <laughs> curtains while they're on air, <laughs> so they can't do anything about it. We'll we check it when they're on air. That was an act of anger, shutting the curtains. <laughs> I mean, you know well, it'll be an yeah, act of even more anger when he shuts them you, again. Do you think Ben's? Uh, like a guy. You got him seeing orange. <laughs> <laughs> he was wearing a fleece, and he has an orange parka also. <sighs> That's fantastic. Uh, he, you know what I believe? Do you think he's like enough of an ego guy that he assumes we're talking about him and is listening listens. to the show? And, he, and he's no, listening to the he's show? Listen. Come on. Definitely? I, I believe so. Now, how could you not love us? Yeah. I mean, if you listen to the show, how could you not love us? Oh, we had a girl on the line that said she loved when we talk about dirty stuff, and then right. she went away. I like Come to, through uh, that line and punch you right in the nose. I like to get I like to get on the phone with a girl who says she loves when we talk about dirty stuff. Yeah. So I it mean, validates me. Yeah, it throws gas on the fire. Yeah, when a girl's like, yeah, go for it. I like that. Um, like Jacob, buck 40 sitting there for you. <laughs> <laughs> Two curtains and a thumbs it's up. It's not Look, the money. We have fucking, fu you have four witnesses here that say you didn't never do it. It doesn't matter. What are yeah. they going to believe? All of us or fucking Golf and Debbie and Ben? Yeah. No one likes them in here. Get, Debbie no, one's ever had, no one's ever had a great conversation with them in the break room. It's never happened. We're the champs here. They love us here, man. We're the seniors. Let's give them a little bit of freshman razzin. Let's haze them. Oh, dude, this is I'll even I'll throw better. another hundred on there on. if you go and you, and you uh, slap dick on the glass and come back in here. If you're going to go, go big. <laughs> Jay. And without a doubt, I would say Jacob is a general in the bonfire army. Without a doubt. And we have campers that are devoted soldiers. Special ops, if you will. We have one on the phone. Where is he at? I don't know. A caller wants me to know. Oh, so he's not even on the phone? No, he just wanted me to let you guys know. He's he didn't want to give away his information. Show. Right, he's going to call the golf show. I mean, we got How are we going to know it's him? Are we going to get a crackle crackle? No, he's going to call and ask Ben why he always wears orange. Right. I want to oh! hear that. Why have we not thought of this? Let's right. have a bunch of callers call them and ask questions only they... That we can get answers to. Dude, tell them the call. All right, Jacob, start writing <laughs> these so down. Excited? Start writing these down. These they're are the questions that we're with they are. they are. They're going to get blown up. Oh, they're gonna have to... man, this is First great. of all, let's find the golf show's uh, number. Yeah. 1 so 800 it swing. <laughs> so we can put that out there. <laughs> 1 800 swing low. <laughs> <laughs> Do the noise. I love Lou's fucking sound effect. One eight eight eight. Nothing else is on. <laughs> <laughs> that shit makes me laugh for no fucking that's reason. Fucking, that's fucking. That's not even a slice. That's dead on. They got connected. That's a two seventy five. That's a two seventy five drive with a fucking iron. <laughs> Good job. Oh, man, there's so many questions I want answered. But how okay. are we going to hear it? Well, well, we're putting them out there. The people will call in here afterwards. Yeah, but uh, can we patch through? Can we listen? I'm pretty sure we can listen. Yep. Can we comb through the audio? Yes. Um. So, well, let's see. What questions do we want to ask? What do we want to ask them? Uh, and callers, the orange, obviously. Callers, if you, callers, do if you, you know the caller's name? No, he didn't want to give away. Why they have to shut up? But, but he's right. going to ask that one. And no one else has to give their name, I guess, out of the gates if you don't want to. Just like... The questions we want to ask are what? What else do we want to know? Um, is there any sexual tension the between... Uh, have they ever is gone there, on a date? Have they ever gone on a date? Is there any sexual tension? Um, I, I know she's married. No, don't even ask that because she's okay. married. She's not going to say yes to that. Who would win in a game of golf? She make it sound easy. But then the follow-up question is, would you bet sex? <laughs> oh, my God. Are you so confident you'd win in a game of golf that you'd bet sex on it? Would you guys play strip golf? Perfect. Kick up the tension. But so if someone if someone can tell Debbie if someone can go hey Debbie pipe down Ben uh, full bush or shaved and uh, ask him about himself. Well, should they start with a, a legitimate question and yes. then turn the tables? What's their favorite course? 
followed by Ben. Do you shave or full bush? I like Debbie pipe down. Ben. Perfect. Absolutely. It's your no, that's like I'm not stepping on that yeah. at all. I apologize if I seem to be stepping on Debbie, that. Debbie pipe down for a second so men can talk. Yeah. Ben. Uh dude talk. Shave balls are all natural. Perfect. Perfect. If anybody got that. Um what else? There's gotta be more. Can three people call back and, and after you ask your whatever fake golf question is, say, seriously, Ben, what's with the orange? <laughs> if we could have a bevy of those going, that'd be great. But let's yeah, some, let's I, I feel like if you can do a different version of the orange thing. I myself, yeah, I myself am a caution yellow guy. Like, why'd yeah. you go orange? Yeah. Do you gravitate to that flavor of Starburst? Here are all of your under are your undergarments pastels? That was about to pocket your cash. It's great. <laughs> Trying to take forty bucks off me. Um, do you shop exclusively in? Oh, if you could also call and and uh, give Steve Harvey advice. Yes, about golf. About golf. Steve Harvey says. <laughs> Steve Harvey says you got to take a swing, but if you miss, you just take another swing. Oh man, that's great. You do the teeth. <laughs> now you do the teeth. Uh, listen, you gonna be hanging out with one of these golf females. <laughs> I know the words to say. Wants to patch in a three-way call to Golf Channel. Mm. What does that mean? He wants us to call in. No, he wants he wants to call the Golf Channel and keep us on hold so we can listen to it. Oh, we could do that if that can work. We could do that. Oh, you know what we could do? We could coach one of our callers. And then call them, call the Golf Channel, and then that's our three-way. So we'll have them on the air, right. and we'll tell them what to say. What? Let's, let's coach somebody. We can get in their ears? Who's our prototype? We can't get in their ears, but while it's happening, we can hear it. So we can give them, can, they, can we put, could, could we then, and this is, a, we're talking semantics here, obviously. Is this technology even possible in today's world? I think we're going to flip so why it. do I have cancer always? Hold on. We're going to roll the plane. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to roll the plane. Lou. Here's what we're going to do. Yeah. And this is just thoughts. Can we have a phone, have a camper call in to the golf channel with us in a three way call with them and somehow be able to block or mute their feed to the golf channel so we can say things to them quickly? Is there any way we can do like an offensive coordinator into the headset of their quarterback? I think that will work. I mean, I'm going to look like a fool a if genius. it does it. Oh, no. Well, I mean, it'll be a fool on war. I've never tried it, but logically, that seems like it would work to me. Hmm, we're gonna roll the show. <laughs> so, like, gotcha. say Gary uh, wants to wants to call in the golf show. We'll talk to Gary, tell him what he ask him what he's gonna say, and then we'll call the golf show. Put them on our air while listening to their to them on on the golf channel, and we're telling them what to say. And, and Andy's be- got to let us know when they're on the show, and then we can put it on our show. And here's what we need from you, the campers. We need a male car. We also need a because a female car. We get yes. together, and then we have to have her ask ridiculous shit. Yeah, about two Ben. If the question, if we can get a female camper to call in, and I, and honest to God, I'd like to be a woman who will uh, say things like, "Ben, where you live with your fine ass?" Like oh, shit, like that. If Rhonda could call back in, Rhonda from CT, just getting deep <laughs> would be my favorite. Rhonda's walking. Talk around. about how much you like a, a you need eleven inches. Oh, if you got ten and a half, you're gonna be drifting off during sex. <laughs> yeah, you be fucking checking your watch if a guy's packing a healthy nine and a half. Yeah, you need a four iron if you know what I mean. Boom, that's golf talk on the bonfire. We're cross pollinating. Uh, we have to take another break, don't we? We gotta take a break. Well, that's cool because uh, I feel like my dancing shoes are warmed up now. I just hope for the sen- for the sake of sensuality, mm-hmm. I get some Jacob. <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be some dips. I want to lo- lose. Not gonna like. I'm gonna blow. Uh, I'm gonna blow small kisses and lose neck. <laughs> don't look away from me, Lou. <laughs> Jacob. Don't Jacob, look away from make, me. I, make deep eye contact with Soda. Hey, I hope I get you, buddy. Oh, I hope man. we dance together. Oh, uh, the callers are asking for the golf channel number. Do we get it? Yeah, we'll get it. 866-469-0026. 866-469-0026 is the number for the golf show. Swing low. It's the bonfire. We'll be right back. Coming And now back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. What a difference a song makes. That felt good. I'll be honest with you, the last five minutes have been the greatest, one of my favorite times Dude, of my life. Dude, I almost life. threw up. I was laughing so hard. <laughs> we put the golf gym on for God a little bit. And damn, you guys Dave are doing, and 
You're Isaiah. doing fantastic. Please, campers, do not let their phones stop ringing <laughs> with ridiculous calls. If we all, if, if if we do too much orange up front, I don't know. It was perfect the way. You it was. Can, no, no. But I'm saying if we if we hit too many more of the orange though, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna ca- if, if if we get, you can always rec- you know go back to it by the end of the thing. It goes, it goes, you know, hey, well, oh, you know, let's go orange. Like say something kind of funny because he's Wait, starting, he feels like he's starting to get into it from what we heard. Yeah. Well, he was admitting they do not get. At all, this is a thing happening. The number, again, 866-469-0026. It's the Golf, the channel. golf channel. 866-469-0026. And here's the deal. Don't be mean, but we want specific questions asked. You could be you could be mean if they don't get you being mean. Yeah. I think it's already happened. Yeah, you're right. Oh, no, I'm cool with that. Yeah. I'm just talking about, like... Don't be flat out shit. Except I, I, I do want one girl, and if we're able to work this out, we're gonna have. Uh, looks like we're gonna have Katie in California. Let me hear Katie's voice. Katie in California, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, perfect. Oh, we have yeah. our we have our soldier. Oh, that's great, Katie. <laughs> Katie, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. This is just some quick um, bonfire special ops recruitment questions. I'm gonna work through them. We both are. This is pretty standard. We want to hire you. Yeah, this is a, this is SOP. Uh, so let me just get right to it. What's your age? I'm 26. 26. Perfect. Katie, what do you do? I'm a processor for a mortgage company. Perfect. That sounds adult. Do you, (laughs) do you golf? I don't. Okay. That's fine. That's perfect. That's even better. We can mold you. All right. Into the soldier we need. Now, Jay, Jay, uh, yeah, Admiral. Big Jay Okerson is going to give you uh, more well, specific I think, I think but the first thing we have to do is always come up with a good, a decent golf question. Which is, to, uh, and and Katie, we're going to coach you on the specific golf question we want you to ask, which is, uh, do you prefer TPC Sawgrass or Pebble Beach? Okay, PBC? T is in Tommy. Okay, TBC. TPC Sawgrass, like saw, S-A-W, grass. Okay. I think it's TPC. I'm, a, I'm a looking it up right now. TPC Sawgrass or Pebble. And what's the question she's to ask? Uh, and then, or Pebble Beach. What, and what are you saying? What's the question she should ask? Full bush or shaved on Ben. Oh, yeah, I like her doing a full bush or shaved, but I almost wanted to, uh, um, I almost wanted to ask for, uh, maybe we need another girl too, because I want somebody to call up and be like, hey, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, in college, I was thinking about taking up golf or some whatever. You know, you know, for my boyfriend, I'm thinking, or not a boyfriend, but say something about you're thinking about taking up golf. Yeah. And you go, I'm single. I'm thinking it's a good way to meet people. So I guess what I'm asking is, is uh, golfing a good way to catch dick? Like something like that would be great. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> so, Katie, you can choose the question you want to ask. If you Do you want to do, how do I, do I, should I take up golf to get some D? Or do you want to do a golf question followed by asking Ben? No, I think a guy should ask Ben about the bush. That's what makes that funny. Is, it, is, a, guy, is a guy going, pipe down, Debbie, men talking here. You're right. You know what? I'm sorry. Um, I forgot yeah. about that first part. Yeah, pipe down, Debbie. I was all consumed here. with the lead-in and the, the yeah, quick by, switch. By the way, it may have already happened. So uh, people are saying fans are killing on the golf channel. He wants to recap for us. All uh, right. Katie, Katie, we're going to put on. on hold. Katie. Put Katie on hold. Uh, you're our Captain our America. Face. Hold on. All right, and we have uh, John, John in New York. You've got to give us a recap. We heard the orange comment, but that's all we heard. Uh, the second, that was the first one, then the second guy called up and did just like you guys said. They were blowing it up as soon as that show went in the air. They're like, oh, we got a caller already. Yeah, we heard that. Oh, yeah, we heard that, which was and, great. And then uh, the second guy had a long conversation about golf with the yes. guy. started talking about betting sex, and they got all uncomfortable and cut him off. Oh, oh wow. Good, that's good. We can still get you guys still get through though. But I mean, uh, everyone keep going because, and I'm telling you, when the go heavy is when we go on break. Yeah, because we put it on, and man, was that entertaining. I, I, I've, I was like squatting and my face against the wall, laughing in a way like <laughs> I, I can't. Dude, wait. It made me. You guys brought so much joy into Jay and I's heart by doing that. The we orange. Gotta, they thing. gotta take them. They have to keep taking them. We I gotta, hope. Gotta give the number out again. Uh, I did that already, but I'll do it again. The number over there, 866-469-0026. Thanks, John. John, John in Texas, you got through. Were you the genius that started asking about the betting with sex? No, no. I just asked them if I thought that uh, if Orange approved his golf game at all, Crackle Crackle. Oh, nice. But, um, okay. I, I, think that they're, I think he's blowing Depp's back out, man. Like, I was listening to him talk. Yeah. And they're, they're talking about all these, like, activities they do other than golfing. Oh. And they sound 
sound Ooh. really close. I don't know if uh, dude, I Jacob wish, has a chance. Dude, John, I wish you could have been in the studio, because when you said that, <laughs> Jacob's eyes shot at me like a dog, like one of those police dogs that hears a German word and they know when to attack. <laughs> He was like, when you're like, I don't know, I think he's blowing it. He just looked at me like, this guy better be fucking lying. And let me tell you, by the way, we didn't recap. Jacob was my dance partner. We we yeah. put it out on um, Instagram and Twitter. That was, <clears throat> I mean, uh, can I just sen- tell you? Sensual's let, not the right word. I don't know what that was. Like, I almost, it was real. I kind of fell in love. It First was off, real. Softest sweater I've ever felt. Mm-hmm. Ever. Thank you. He just smells good. He's got a powerful torso. Well, you, just never, you don't recognize class when you see it. You're right. Well, I'll tell you this. When you're basically dancing with the cashmere human being, yeah, a powerful cashmere. That was that was beautiful. I didn't even, you know what? I didn't even know you were dancing with Lou. I didn't even know you were in the room. Oh, but me and Lou went for. I went high on Lou, and I said a lot of sweet stuff into his neck. Yeah, Lou pet my hair at one point. It was really a. <laughs> these are getting less funny, getting more real. But I, think, I promise you, what's happening on the next break is me and Dan will have our moment, and yeah. I think me and him are just going to be like two bodies moving as one. If I'm honest, yeah. The greatest video that's going to be going out today is going to be Lou and Jacob dancing. God, I can't wait for Because that. it better be tender. You can't half-ass it. Oh, man. We're going big. I might just flat out nibble on Soder's ear. And I, might just, I don't give a fuck. I might toss my head back and just laugh. Um, oh, our Captain America still online. Yeah, Katie. I know. And I want somebody to also ask. Well, I Katie. Have another, another question I wanted to ask. Oh, yeah, how about this? I want someone to ask, like... Hey, um, I want somebody to ask Debbie if you were a lesbian. Or I first ask if Ben's a great guy. Is he a really great guy? Would you say he's like a, a tremendous, a wonderful human being? Mm-hmm. When she says yes, say, if you were a lesbian, would you let him uh, inseminate you uh, to have a baby? Oh, like that good of a man. Progress baby. Yeah. I yeah. think that's a good question. I think that's a great question. Katie, are you there? We have one of our soldiers on the line. <laughs> Private Katie. Hello. Hey. Hello. Whoa. What was that? Why was there a man and a woman? The fuck? Katie, are you throwing your voice? Katie, are you really a man? No, Which, by the way, here. I'm okay if you identify that way. Yeah, it's okay. You call yourself what you want. 2016, you identify how you all want to identify, <laughs> but don't do that with your voice anymore, because that was the scariest thing I've ever heard. Now, Lou. I don't know who that was. Lou, what is it we have to do to make this work out? She has to call from another phone, Golf Channel. No, Katie stays where she is. We call the channel for her, and I put them all on the air at the yes. same time. And and what do we do? We're, we're, how do we? How does she just hear us? You she can't, can't do that. Do you can't. She's got to go in with the instructions. Oh, yes. Okay, okay. Yes. So let's, let's give her the rest. Let's Katie, see how far she you got to do a bunch of cute giggles. Can you give me a, just a taste of your cute giggle? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, that almost that broke. Works? That almost broke my heart. Oh, and really, uh, t- can you wait? Can you say? Keep telling Benny hold, sounds cute. Guys, hold on, real quick. This is just for mm-hmm. me, Katie. Katie, this is it's your boy Soder. This is just me. You and DS. This is me and me and you. Real quick, uh-huh. just from for me. Can you say? But I love you like a brother. Then throw that giggle in. Okay. But I love you like a brother. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Oof. That's how you scalp open a wound. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> um, All right. So we've got our we've got our soldier, our universal soldier, like Dolph Lundgren and Jean Claude Van Damme. So you tell Ben you Google him. He's a real cutie. Yes. <laughs> like play to them a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're, uh, and we're and we're going to patch in and we're going to listen to that. So, Lou, how, are you doing this now? What question is she going in with? We need specific uh, instructions. I'm listening to the golf show right now. They're talking about sp- specific goals for the new year. So okay, great. Mention the word goals. Yeah, just bring up okay, your goals. Yeah, when, you, when, you, when, when they get you through and they say, you know, it's the whatever golf show, you uh-huh. say, uh, you say, I want to talk about New Year's goals. Okay. And then and then just you know. Rattle so, off a couple. Yeah, rattle off a couple of just basic things, you know, whatever. You want to get in shape or blah, 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 blah. And, then and so, oh, this could lead to, that's perfect, because your New Year's goal is you want to get into golf. Because you okay. know, you heard it's good, it's a good physical activity, and you want to know if it can lead to some danger. You're a single girl, you're trying to get off the market. And you should really, uh-huh. like, like, say things they can't kick you off for, but it gets you, like... It's starting to get a little shaky. It's like I've had a, a promiscuous couple of years, and I'm really just like you know I want to sit, I want to find a guy and actually it's, be a be a boyfriend. It's like I'm just like, I, you know, you, you know how you feel when you wake up in the morning after night. It's like just like stuff like that, where it's like it's, it's kind of just confessing something fake. Yeah, if okay. you want to, if you can start darkly alluding to have to from like that you had to move cities because of something happening. <laughs> okay, just I had like, to move cities recently because. I really can't get into it. Legally, say, I can't get into let's it. Let's just say I've had a promiscuous last couple of years, and I'm looking in the new year to, like, you know, find, like, a man and be with. 
and I'm trying to find a good man. And I, so I started like getting into golf. Uh-huh. And, I, and I'm, I'm seeing like you know, and and uh, so it's like I'm starting to maybe trying to learn how to play and everything. And it's like, what do you think? Like, is 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 golf a good way to catch dick? <laughs> yes. Okay. Perfect. I can do that. Drop it. Just but you're gonna drop catch dick at the very end. But you're hanging on this call. Uh, Kate, you got to hang on this call as long as possible. We need you to hang glide okay. as long as you know. Feel it out. But then when you when you see the opening for the kill. Take the kill. Okay. She has to go okay. through the call screener yeah, she has to go through the call screener first and say, she's going to say that uh, she's calling about goals, about New Year's goals. And we'll, we'll hear all of that. Yeah. Okay. Should okay. we do it now? Are you ready, yes, Katie? right yeah. now. Katie, are you I ready got... to go to war for us? I'm ready to go to war. All right, soldier, we're shutting up. Uh, well, I mean, we're going to talk until we hear ringing. No. Huh? Katie, I just want to say, you, you sound like a great I lady. Get, I don't want to get caught, though, because we have to stop talking when they hit the call screener. I'm not Nixon. I think Merc, I think Merc face is locking up on us. Oh. Jacob, what'd you write down on your paper? By the way, what cologne do you wear, Jacob? Because you smell terrific. Lucid, I smell cologne. Terrific. You don't it's wear cologne? cologne? Natural, no. That's just Jacob Fairlow? That's just me. Oh, my God. And by okay. the way, Dan, can I say thank you for letting me lead? Yeah, of course, Bob. Did he lead? Yes. yes. That was sweet. Watch the video. I dropped my knees. almost threw my lower back out. Jacob's, did. Eyes, Jacob's eyes were closed. He went so into it. I was into it. Katie. Yes. Are you single? Yes. If you ever came out to New York, would you want to hang out with Jacob? Of course. Oh, I mean, let's do it. She's got. Does she play golf though? Oh, perfect! You're in character. You are the perfect soldier. <laughs> okay, you know what? This guy makes a good point. Alex uh, and Arkansas, we don't stick your call, buddy, but he makes a good point. So, are you guys worried about getting canned for messing with a clean channel? So let's do that. You could say, "Is that a good? Uh, is this a good sport for picking up D?" Yeah, okay. say D. Don't say Dick. Okay, okay. We're, we're calling the screener now. All right, this is... <clears throat> All right, Mark. Is there any way they can hear us on air? Kate, you're coming to get us on tap. What's your name? Oh, sorry. Name? Golfer's Edge. What's your name? Katie. Hey, Katie, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Menifee, California. Oh, um, Shit, we lost them. No! Katie, you still there? Yeah, I'm here. We lost it. <gasps> they must have hung up on no. us. No! They must know. They must know we're coming. They can feel the flames of the barn. See, I got cut off. We got to be quiet, though, sir. Totally. But here's the thing, Lou. I'm asking you, can we, can we the can. people on air hear us, but they, they can't hear us? They hear everybody. I don't know. I, de- I think they may okay, be able sh- to. Sh- Katie, you're up. Okay. The golfer's Edge, what's your first name? My name's Katie. Hey, Katie, where are you calling us from? From L.A., California. Gotcha. And uh, what's your question or comment? I'm actually just calling to talk about the resolutions, my goals for the new year. Okay, no problem at all. Hang tight for me. We'll get to your call soon, okay? Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Sodas. And I totally eliminated... Fantastic work, uh, Katie. Katie, you're yeah, perfect. Uh, you just took out the lookout. <laughs> I've been soda-free since May. <sighs> <laughs> and to, um, oh, what uh, dog I don't shit. Drink anything with sugar other than my coffee in the morning. Um, <laughs> I love golf. I, I play a lot, and I you gotta keep I telling Ben how he sounds. You uh-huh. looked him up, and he sounds so cute. <laughs> Go on, and, and you'd be uh, like, you do like orange. <laughs> So I made a decision then not to go on a diet. You could say things like I'm completely shaven. Like, no, I no, mean, she can't. That's not. There's no curse words. No curse words. But I don't think she should blow her cover like that. No, it's just a different. Drop them in. Katie, play subtle. Subtle's best. Play subtle till you're able to just lay it all out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. But you are perfect. Should we be listening? Is, uh, by March. I wanted to wait. Oh, this guy's babbling about nothing. <laughs> um, I like sometimes. I still want soda. I, t- I stopped drinking Dr. Pepper about three months ago. Blood sugar stacking up. Uh, I like swing a golf club. Sometimes my wife sasses me. I chase around the house with my putter. John Daly used to whack down whiskey for breakfast. That I got high cholesterol. They said I needed to stop eating. Sugar and, and all those things. I mean, that's a fantastic life decision. Those are good decisions oh, that many people should be making. Be um, you know, you've already overcome and achieved a lot more than most people can stick to and stick with. So, you know, 
from that part, you should pat yourself on the back and, you know, enjoy what you've accomplished and what you've achieved. I think, you know, too often when it comes to weight loss, fitness goals, handicap goals, whatever, you know, we we all have our ultimate goal where we want to get, um, and we don't enjoy the little victories along the way. I think if you can enjoy and appreciate kind of what you've accomplished so far, it makes it a lot easier to kind of pit, push onward. He's you know, right. from an exercise well, I'm, a, trigger, yeah. I, I'm a truck driver. Oh, too, this so guy's throwing all in. Difficult it is. <laughs> Sorry, Katie. We got you all gassed up for nothing. <laughs> yeah, we got to keep it's sort okay. of listening. It's okay. I'm still ready. <laughs> I took everything in my truck. Wow, Jesus. That's awesome, man. You're the man. I mean, look, so anybody who's out there is listening, yes. who has weight loss goals, who's not doing what Kenny has to do here, you know, you, you can learn and say, look, it's possible. People always have excuses why they can't do it. I work. I got to go out for lunch. I got to this and that. You know, you're proving that, you know, with the right mindset and the right desires that, you know, anybody can accomplish their goals. Yeah. Uh-huh. I guess what exactly were your back surgeries before I'm going to sit here and tell you anything about exercise? I, I just like Tiger Woods. I, I had uh, I had billions of. A, a I had a hot Swedish wife that I banged apple piece <laughs> of I am a wild philanderer. <laughs> three different surgeries. The I'm in the DP. I'm in all kinds of crazy shit, just like Tiger. Uh, was two years after that. Um, so they were basic uh, laminectomy. I was going for a five par. Ripped my hammy. <laughs> Uh, with there not being any disc material in there at all. The bones are starting to rub a little bit. Holy but, shit. Uh, this should be show done through text. Surgery. I couldn't walk without a cane. <laughs> and uh, I play golf now, so I'm, I'm happy with where I'm at with that. But I do need to lose the, the middle belly fat somehow. Yeah, so here, here are the things that Thick, I would say. For thermal, you. orange, <laughs> hoodies. You know, <laughs> please. You need to avoid or any kind of like, partially you're sitting all day, so you're in a hip flex position. Ugh, any correct. kind of like spinal flex. flexion is going to be really bad for you. Sit-ups, any of those kinds of exercises for someone who has a back. Okay. Like we don't want to see you doing sit-ups. We don't want to. But things like doing planks. And other type of ab exercise like that, things we call dead bugs. Is Debbie doing scratching her asshole right now? Four exercises. You think she's Googling pictures of you, Jacob? <laughs> she's like, I already got live recently. Expenditure and building an overall. I heard my little tiger was out of his cage. I heard mouse found the hole over the weekend. <laughs> Than fat does, right? So the more muscle we can put some holes in some cheese, <laughs> etc. Right. So you know, I'd love to see you kind of doing, you know, what I would call circuit type exercises. Katie, it's you don't have time. to be fancy exercises. You know, go from a plank <laughs> to doing some body weight squats, to doing some push ups, to doing some bench dips. You know, like you can just do body weight exercises, lunges, all that kind of stuff. Keeping your upper body in your ben, back. Ben, you look cute. I like to do some body weight street. squats with you. <laughs> 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 do some like your body weight squat down on your face. <laughs> These are all these. These are all yours to have, Katie, ground, whatever you want thing. to throw them in. And do them in a circuit fashion where you kind of go around one to the next to the next without resting and okay. going around. So maybe you're doing 20 minutes to a half an hour of exercise, kind of doing an upper body exercise, a lower body exercise, a core exercise, so the muscles aren't getting tired. Like to curl your dumbbell? But this way you're going to start building some muscle and building some strength, which will kick your metabolism in place. <sighs> turn should help your belly fat. I don't think it's about... But this guy's just like fucking Wolverine exercise. jacked under those fucking I mean, fleeces. Not, <laughs> you're going to do some of that, but that's not really the point. No idea because he's got that body that you can't tell in clothes, like a Tom Hardy. Yeah. Is this guy just weirdly fat or something? Oh no, he's fucking he's building a barrel of muscles. Yeah, you bring up a good point also. Uh, I, thanks, I, thanks, bro. I have noticed uh, just by, uh, and I don't like to call it a diet. I I uh, did a Way lifestyle life. change because diets don't work. Uh, but I, I think Can- oh. I've noticed. I think my metabolism. Campers, I thank you every day. <laughs> Every day for not being this drab. Yeah, people want to, you know, you ever want to talk shit about our callers, just listen to this fucking nonsense. Slows down. And uh, I just, you know, I want to be here a little bit longer and I want to enjoy golf some more. So anything that you can advise me on that's going to help do that, I really appreciate it. I thank you for taking my call. Jesus Christ. Uh, Katie, it's game time. Uh, we owe thanks. When I reach my goal of weighing 200 or less. 
Uh, if there's anything else yes. along the way, Kenny, that we can help you with, whether it be your golf swing, your exercise program, please let us know. We're happy. We're always here to help. All right, here we go. And I do think that just getting stronger and doing some of these things as well is going to make your golf game better, you know, without any doubt. Yeah, there's no question. I mean, how cool is that? Like, there's not enough time in the day for either one of us, let alone a truck driver. <laughs> yeah, Jake, drink that, that in, buddy. To work on his body. Like, yeah. Yeah. cooking kind of his meals off, in yeah. his truck. I just, she be telling you that over morning oatmeal. Oh, yeah, we, we, we don't do it right. <laughs> well, you know, good for him, man. I, I got a lot of respect. Respect for that. All right, we got to grab a break. When we come back, ah! right, cool. it's fine. It's fine. We'll go on break we'll, too. We'll take a break too. We're gonna sync up like two ladies that live together. We'll come back a little early with some dancing. Katie, you're holding on, yeah. Katie, yeah, I'm here. You're the best. All right, Katie. We love you. We'll be right back. It's bonfire. And now back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Actually, for all the listeners out there, we are right next door to Comedy Central, and we've kind of befriended them, and they like to. Uh, Play, uh, I, don't know, I don't know how to say it. Have, us come, up, have us come on their show. <laughs> Should we say we go on Comedy Central occasionally with the guys across the hall? They're very fun and funny, and they should just leave everything in their room. <laughs> <laughs> They're so listening to me. They are listening and actually broadcasting and listening to our show. At the America, same so time. We're still doing it. We're, we're still really doing it, Katie. Katie. <laughs> Katie. You're we're still moving, moving forward, we say. No, they're actually pretty funny guys. Awesome guys. They do a funny show. They're funny guys. And, uh, oh, thanks. Yeah, you know, so we're, we appreciate them. Uh, you know what? The golfers edge sharing the message. love. Yeah, all good over there. And I have a feeling that somebody will probably be coming in here any minute to <laughs> join us for our show. But I'll get Jacob. Go open the curtain right now. <laughs> now, Jacob, open the curtain. Open. No, I think Katie still calls. Uh, Trevor on the line from New York. Damn, I think uh, I think we're sussed out. They got a mole. Katie. Are you yeah, there? I'm here. Are you there, my sweet, sweet, sweet angel? I'm here. <laughs> oh, that giggle. Now we're going to get to Katie. <laughs> Katie, I, I, you know what? Katie, we're going to call off your mission for another week. They've, we've been compromised. I just don't feel comfortable putting Katie in that position. You know what's going to happen now? I, you know what? Can I tell you right now? They kind of got us. So here's what we're going to do, Katie. We're going to double okay. down in two weeks. Okay. <sighs> Shit. We're gone the next two Mondays, bro. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Katie, we're making an appointment right now. We're putting okay. it in the books. Okay? okay? And all those loyal campers know. Central all people. in the back of my mind. Shout out to Jacob over there. I don't think they what, have... what goes on with the saying? What stays in Vegas stays in Vegas. What stays in that room over there, that what studio. What stays in Studio 8. <laughs> just stay in Studio 8. Stay in studio 8. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Okay. Okay, then let's move along here. Let's talk about golf. No. Katie on the line from California. Uh, hi, Katie. Hello. Hello. Hey, Katie. Hi, how are you? Good. How are you? Happy New Year. Good. Happy New Year to you, too. So I was calling to talk about my resolution. And my goals for this year, and, you know, one of them was to get in shape, I guess. I heard, like, one of the previous um, people who called in. And um, golf is actually something that I've kind of taken up recently to try and do that. So, um, you know, I've been dating and trying to meet the right guy and uh, haven't really had any luck, you know, being kind of promiscuous and getting around a little bit, you know. But um, I figured maybe meeting somebody in golf would help me meet a decent guy. And um, I guess my question to you guys was, is golf a good way to catch some D? <laughs> <laughs> I love these comedy sense. Well, you surely I made mean, my co laugh. Why, why doesn't everybody just from the other side and the other side just come in here and join us? Wait, but no, but wait look, a promiscuous second. golf would be good. We would like that, you know? Wait you a know second. I, this, is, this could be a, a bigger question to answer, and I would say <laughs> that you could definitely meet some cool – people, regardless of you yeah. know, your persuasion, out on the golf course. What better way to spend four and a half, five hours with somebody that you might like or not like, and you can really get to know that person on a golf course. And there's lots of dudes there, and they can buy you drinks afterwards. I mean, really. Right. I mean, at least you know. Water, you know yeah, you can buy them involved, drinks right? afterwards, whatever, right. whatever you want to do. But, yeah, there's lots of dudes playing golf. So if you're looking for guys, you know, that might be the spot to be. And, you know, if you play promiscuous golf, you might even do better. So enjoy it. All right. I'm that involves balls. I'm, I'm down. <laughs> Oh, they, they hang up on her. Oh, Katie. Yeah. Katie. You are the best. Killer. You are. That was, uh, yeah. Katie, there you go. What a beautiful woman inside and out. 
Oh, my God. Oh, that was <laughs> good you soldier. Were, you were fantastic. And you know what? Can I just say this? Your stealth and prowess and the way you you just composed yourself, you did great. And, you know, I'm going to say this. Shout out to Jacob's lady, Deb, for handling that. Like, Oh, Deb Adu really came through. Right. Deb Adu. I think Debbie does indeed like us. Yes. And I tell you this, I think old Chester Cheeto over there likes us. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's starting to warm up to the boys from the bonfire. <laughs> Old Cheeto thumbs. Ah, <laughs> oh, Katie, you are an angel. Oh, um, thank you. I mean, give him a good time, everybody. If you want to keep going, go, by all means, keep calling him. But you know what? Also, um, tip of the cap to the golf. We'll be to, listening. To yeah. Swing Nation. What's yeah. It called Swing Nation. <laughs> Is that what it's called? It's called Ace in the Hole. <laughs> Subpar. <laughs> it's called Scratch Talk. <laughs> <laughs> well, Take a mulligan with Ben and Deb. <laughs> Welcome to Handicap Golf, where we talk about... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Did you feel bad? Oh, no. <laughs> Katie, you are the best. If you want to send naked pictures, the bonfire at SiriusXM. <laughs> dot com. <All> right. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you know, if you ever want to, whatever. It doesn't uh, matter. She's a soldier. She doesn't have to. You keep your uniform on, You don't soldier. have to do anything. I'm just saying if you do or know somebody who does. Just trust Katie. What if I do? Oh, boy. <laughs> then can you do it within the next half hour so we can see it before we all leave? <laughs> and don't tell everyone else that I just plumped up. <laughs> and could you not say your could you not say your girlfriend's like plumped up and it wasn't that big still? Yeah, it was still, it was still uncomfortable about it. And well, here's the good news. We uh we cut off our last slow dance for oh, Katie's yeah, call. Yeah, thanks, thanks, Katie. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you, Katie. You rule. The bonfire at SiriusXM dot com. Uh I like to remind you you might want to take naked pictures. Dude, she, I mean that'd be incredible. That'd be amazing. What a, I mean, what a full service like friendship we just had there. She I'll was, tell you this: she was amazing on the phone. She's a three star general in the in the campfire in the bonfire army. Without a doubt, without a doubt, head camper. Maybe she's a counselor at this point. I mean, that kind of the, showing sack like that. It's amazing and nailing um, it. Take, the, I, even her breathing was yeah calm. She didn't do the thing where she didn't do anything that what I would have thought was like kind of dumb if, if they were like, oh, the Comedy Central guy's striking out. She didn't go like, what? What do you mean? Because that yeah. would have been worse. She just played it cool. She was all, she almost didn't even acknowledge it. Like, they're probably talking about something else. And I'll also be call. honest, Katie definitely strikes me as a woman that you don't want against you. Yeah, I feel like Debbie may have realized that there's a shot that particular question wasn't us. Because mm. no, they it's said... A bigger, it's, no, he said... Yeah, but then she... But Deb... And I'm going to call her Deb. She's cool like that. Deb do. Deb do. She, being the consummate professional, moved right on to the actual question. Right. Taking out all the cancerous things around it. Shouts out to Deb, Jacob's baby mama. I want to talk, talk to Trevor in Long Island <clears throat> here because Trevor actually, he, he was a call we didn't listen to because we just assumed, we just knew it wasn't Katie and we checked yeah. it out. But that's what made those guys start going. Ah. Oh, it compromised our position. No, even I'm sure it was hilarious. We just didn't get to hear it. Trevor, we're going to come through the audio. What's up, What's up Trevor? What's, What's up, buddy? What's going on, guys? Uh, it's a great voice for making oh. a, a, a... To run a pool call. hole? <laughs> make a fake phone call? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys want to tell me why there's no eight ball on table nine? <laughs> hey, man, you, you want to go out to get some beers? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I just I, I called in the golf show because I listen to you guys regularly, man. I watch all your specials and stuff, right. and um, you know I've been hearing this whole thing. I was I was listening to the Mary F. Kill with, with Debbie and all of that, you know. Yeah, she, and, which uh, she was very gracious and participating. Were, when you, I heard you guys were listening in on them, I just I figured I'd shoot a call over there because they had this guy on, man. He off. Uh, it was the worst call ever. And no, he we heard. Shut the hell up. Oh, you heard him. You heard him. But the soda. The guy like cooks. That. I mean, you know, Ben he is cooks right. in his truck. Oh, big ups to him cooking yeah. in his truck. Yeah, yeah, he cooks in his truck. He cooks. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> so you know, I, I was. I figured I'd hang in there, and uh, yeah, I just wanted to. I wanted to bust the balls a little bit. This guy in his orange. You know what I mean? So I figured I'd shout you guys out. And I hit him with the crack, crackle. You know what I'm talking about? You're a good man. Thank you. Love much. it. Love it, Trevor. Thank but, you, my friend. Absolutely, guys. And Jay, man, I love, I love your comedy, man. And uh, you too, Dan. You guys keep it up. And uh, Jacob, you'll be all right, brother. One day you'll be all right. You know? It's going to be all right. 
We gonna be all <laughs> right. You, I'll tell you what. That's what uh, Lou's gonna whisper in his ear when they slow dance shortly. We gonna be all right. <laughs> Well, All right, fellas. Have a good night, man. Thank you, Trevor. When we wrap up the Monday Toe the Wet Sprocket Slow Dance Party. Mm -hmm. You love it. <laughs> you love it. Oh, we have a call from Steven here. This is exciting. In oh, Ireland? He's calling from Ireland. Hi, Steven. Good crack, guys. How are you? Good. How are you doing, uh, Steven? Not so bad. So, listen, I, uh, uh, you guys came up when I was uh, losing my virginity a couple months back. We're no we're, shit. That tends to happen. It's us and Prince. <laughs> or seal. <laughs> yeah. uh, so basic, basically, it was a Halloween party at the local university nightclub, and uh, I pulled a girl back to her place. And uh, it had been my first time. I'd never actually done anything like that before. Uh, and uh, so we were getting down to business. And uh, I remember hearing you guys talking about how kind of more central it was when you started like breathing heavy in the girl's ear. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I started doing that. Yeah. I was on top of it, and I started kind of getting my head down next to her. I was like, oh, oh, oh. And I think she took that the wrong way, and she's like, hey, let me get on top real quick, because I'm a bit of a heavier guy. Okay. So I oh, she, she, she thought you were just dying from <laughs> a, 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 a asthma? Yeah, you know what happened when you started breathing uh, heavy? She, oh just, God. she just thought, like, who's going to be here to find me, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> if, their man, if this man dies on top of me, I'm going to have to lie here for over a week. <laughs> oh, the smells that will come out. They might turn me into the soap lady. <laughs> <laughs> so what? So she flipped you over. She, she started getting down. Uh Doing the old cowgirl. Okay. Nice. Was it fantastic? Was she a bigger woman? Yes, she was. Okay. Hey, no wrong right. with that, dude. Hey, man, slump buster. I had a bit of a heart, like, a bit of a heart attack, though. It kind of popped out a bit, and it, you kind of get that jolt. Wait, you what know, happened? You know me, Mickey? It you, popped out of her. All right, first off, can I just hug you uh, for how adorable you just called your penis? Mickey? <laughs> called his Mickey. No, it's Mickey. Mickey or Nicky? Mickey and like Mike uh, Mickey. Mike, Mickey. Yeah, it's Mickey. All right. <laughs> Sorry, Mickey fell out. I forgot that you know all dialects. <laughs> no, I just had my Mickey fall out a bunch. Yeah, but also <laughs> I figured you were like an Eskimo chief who just knew every word for snow. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's the Irish word for dick. It's Mickey. <laughs> it's a Mickey. Oh, I know the uh, all the English ones. Todger. Ooh. Tallywhacker. Oh. Doc. You really do have your doctorate in dick. Right? Yeah, you're a dick doc. Got it from Oxford. Boom. That's that's <laughs> another. That's what they call a dick in India. Universita. So go ahead. Your Mickey popped out. And uh, she was still riding cowgirl, and she landed on it a bit awkwardly. <laughs> you know that kind of jolt you get. Yeah. Well, oh I, I, shit! I thought yes. that was it. I thought I thought it started just as I began. I thought my entire sex life was just. Gone. Oh what? yeah, you're like Kajana Carter. You blow your. And knee you out. said she's a bigger girl, and she came crashing down. And ah! did, it, did it actually? Someone stop the damn! Sex! Hang on a second. I gotta before I say it, I have to like, stop thinking about it. Yeah. Did it? Oh Christ! Did it bend? Did it bend? Did no, your boner no, bend? No, oh. No, no, no. It was a bit of leeway, I guess, but oh, it, my yeah. heart stopped for just about a second or two. Yeah, the way you just describes that's the same way with like when you watch one of those high speed skiing accidents where they just start bouncing on the mountain and you're like, please don't be dead. Please don't be dead. Your body's like a doll. Please don't be dead. Have, have you ever had a girl come crashing down on yeah. your boner so hard, no. but it's like in her, it hits her taint. Hey! So it hurts her too, and you, and you both rolling around the ground to the end of Rocky too. <laughs> <laughs> Nine, you just crawl for the Seven. Ah, I've had. Hey! I've had a girl know that damage, like 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 the way you feel when you hit someone hard in football. Some girl was like, "Ooh, I just laid you out, young blood." There should be a painting of a girl's taint, like coming down on a guy's dick, and it should be like one of those Leroy Neiman paintings, like the end of Rocky Three, when yeah. they're both throwing the Connecting. punch. You know they're about to connect. Or she should, if it, if the dick bounce, there she is. Uh, yeah, never do, never do, yeah. You're so hot. Get in here. She's coming in. She's coming in. Debbie D. It's totally on air, dude. Debbie D. Debbie. Huh? Katie. Oh, yeah. That was us. That was us. That was us. She's a general in the army now. Dude, I told her she can be guys or whomever. Oh, no. Debbie. I was just praising your broadcasting abilities to go right into that. Debbie, you were golden, by the way. You were absolutely fantastic. We, I, I don't know if you heard me yell out because I was like, damn. Because you nailed it during the phone call. You did nail it. And one of these days, Deb, you're going to have to come in and sit on Jacob's back while he does push-ups. Come on. 
All it right. would mean the world to him. It would mean right. the world to him. Then there's a ceasefire till then. Look at her. Oh, oh, oh thanks wow. for running. She gets hotter as I see her, huh? Holy shit. She's a cutie. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jacob, you're on cloud nine, aren't you? <laughs> you, you see her jogging over here? Oh. She gave you your own personal shout, by the way. Dude, you're in I love. Know. There's going to be so much my, uh, Otis Redding being played tonight in Jacob's house. <laughs> oh, my God. So much. Steven, I'm sorry that we uh, took away. Real quick, though, if a girl ever does land on your cock hard, it'd be funny if she just Terry Tated you, the office linebacker. <laughs> 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 Just talking like a confident '80s linebacker. <laughs> Ooh, I'm breaking dicks tonight, baby. I don't, I don't get that reference. I know. It's, word for it. it's an American one, but way to cut me down with your Irish honesty. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have the television yeah. yet. No, he just knew how to play me exactly. That, I just heard every one of my mom's comments were like, "Mom, I'm doing Conan. <laughs> when are you doing Fallon?" <sighs> Oh, That's why Steven was like, no, I bet you it was a great reference. Uh, sorry. So Steven, like a... you thought your dick was broke forever. And thankfully not. I jerked off later that day. Hey! Did you, what, you didn't finish when you were having sex? No, I think I had a serious case of the whiskey dick. Okay. Oh. I know, the Irish of whiskey, like, Jesus. Yeah. Oh I, I, I find a better way to call it uh, super dick. Because whiskey dick, super... whiskey dick to, mean, uh, mean, to, means, to me, it means you can't get hard. Yeah. But super dick means you can get hard, you just can't come. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That one. That yeah. one. Oh, you, you got hard, but you couldn't finish. Or if I could, I'll call That's it... not whiskey dick. I'll call it rocky dick. It just doesn't go oh. down. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, what you go, Jake LaMotta? Yeah, where it's like, hey, hey, I didn't come. Hey, Ray, you I didn't come. You never Ray. You never made me come, Ray. You never made me come, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> you never made me come. Never made me come. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep were, going. Are you making a leopard condom on? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Steven, thanks for calling in and thanking us uh, while you're losing your virginity. Yeah, Take buddy. Care, guys. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Oh. Seth in Texas, he has a not so happy story about the same thing. Dude, Seth. We got to get to our. Oh, God damn it. Hi, <laughs> Hi Seth. Mm -hmm. well, am I on? Yeah, hey, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Hey, what's going on, guys? Not too much. Talking about bent dicks and shit. You know. Hey, I feel you. One time, uh, it was shortly after losing my virginity. Um, maybe six months after, me and my girlfriend were getting into it a whole bunch. And uh, this was one of her first times on top. And uh, just like our friend Steven over there, my Mickey popped out. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I was hearing a dude with a Texas accent say that shit. <laughs> and... Uh, well, she didn't realize it immediately, which might not say great things for me. No, I mean, whatever. But, uh, <laughs> Same thing, in or out, I don't care, I'm just yeah, riding. Yeah, I'm just, I got the steed in me. Just down, and then just this terrible pop. It's like if you fly off a swing while you're swinging, while you're still in the air, or if you fly off a roller coaster, I bet for like f like three seconds, you're like, this is the greatest feeling. There's oh, so and, much breeze. Yeah, and then you realize, yeah. Oh my God! Oh, dude, that crash down. Like a little bit of a, a weird angle to it. Just not bad. Was this a bigger but girl? Not terribly. She hadn't gained the weight yet. <laughs> well, I think you know how that story ends. <laughs> it, it came a little after, but you know, any any human sized person coming down on your no, absolutely. But I'm saying, you know, the, the, there's a lot more there. Yeah, you know, some girls. Like those black girl muscly butts, man. Those girls throw it. It's not that it's just big. It's also dense. It's like getting stuck by LeVar Arrington in the backfield. Yeah, it's like on top of having a uh, fast, hard, accurate punch, whap, Mike Tyson also has like crazy hard hands. Yes. I had to put it to something in my own head. It'd be like just Dolph Lundgren. Yeah. Just cock punched me right, right dead on. Oh, 1,262 pounds. Whatever, Whatever he she hits. She, she destroys. destroys. <laughs> That's sort of my favorite. Hey, guys, before I go, I was wondering. There's one thing I've been wanting to do with y'all. Yeah. I wonder if we can get a trio of Jacob getting that sweet, sweet pussy going. Oh, yeah. One, two. two a three. one, two, three. Talking about Jacob. Jacob. Getting that sweet, sweet pussy. Talking about Jacob. Oh. Busting it open the whole night long. Jacob. Oh. Sweet, sweet pussy. Well, let's do one more round. I'm going to go high pitch Bee Gees on it. Talk about Jacob. Oh. Talk about sweet, sweet pussy. pussy. Talk about Jacob. Jacob. Oh. We're all delayed and Busting shit. it open all night long. Jacob. Taking it out and putting it on you. It's Jacob. 
Um, all right, dude. Thanks so much. Thank you guys for filling my dream of getting to do that. Yeah, yeah Seth. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you, you real much. brother. Go bandage up that dick. Go put it in a slang. Ah. Uh, this has been a fun one. It's been a good episode. It's been all over. I have to go listen to that whole golf show. Now, let's give him a shot. The Golfer's Edge on Sirius XM Satellite Radio. The Golfer's Edge. Very good sports about us. Um, very, I mean, very good uh, every, well, At least she, I, I, he definitely hates our guts. But that's 100%. what makes it better. And he think, does. No, you're right. Dude, I really can awesome. track him by his orange reflection. It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> track him. He's like a golf. cat with a bell around his neck. <laughs> <laughs> Just see that orange bobbing around. Yup, there it is. Ah, there he goes. There's Ben. Um... Uh, you know, we got to wrap this thing up with our last dance. Well, we got to do one more dance. Mm -hmm. Let's do plugs before our dance. Okay. Where are you at? Oh, real quick. I want to apologize to Providence. I have to reschedule my weekend at the Comedy Connection at the end of the month. But I'll be back later in the year. I'll be on the Providence. uh, I love the Connection. Pretty soon I'll be there. I'm in Atlanta this weekend. Do it. Friday and Saturday. Uh I will be, uh... Doing Sketchfest in San Francisco. Yes. San Francisco. I'll be doing, uh, me and Todd Barry and a few other people will be doing, it's, I believe it's Todd Barry and Jay Okerson's ultimate crowd work show. What? I will be doing that at Cobb's Comedy Club. I know that for sure. And then I have, um, we're doing a What's Your Fucking Deal. That's great. We're doing an uh, actual What's Your Fucking Deal live with, uh, some of the people who are up there at Sketchfest on the show. Artie Go. Fuqua will be with me. Uh, out yes. There, so he's going to be doing the show too. And I'll be going right from there. To, um, so go, go to sketch, is it sketchfest.com? Is that their thing? It is sketchfest.com for all the uh, information on that. And, uh, I'll be going around the Impractical Jokers cruise right from there. That's why we will not be here next week, but we're yeah. figuring something out and getting a pre recording for one of these days. Yeah, we'll get you one of these days. days. One of these days. Go to get, go get a Sam's hamburger while I'm in San Francisco. Really? Yeah. It's a weird one. I like it. I'll try it. I want you to like it. I'm going to try to like it. Try to share nice things with you. I'm going to enjoy it. I like San Francisco. I love San Francisco, actually. It's one of my favorite cities to go to. I like the food there a lot. I love the punchline. Although I do do a lot of like Subway and shit on there. I I do kind of keep it pretty simple. Yeah. Love Molly. I love the punchline. Molly is the best. I love her, too, and she's always been good to me, and that's nice. I am in the city for most of the month of January. How? I'm in the city. You can go to Big J Comedy for all my stuff. Yeah, dansoder.com and at dansoder. And our final uh, dancing thing, SF Sketchfest. It's SF Sketchfest, and my website is bigjcomedy.com. Okay. Damn. I, I fucked up both of them. You want to get all sassy before I do our last dance? Damn, yo. No, it's me. Yeah, I want passion in ours. Okay, Lou, hit the track. Zorro. Oh, hold on real quick. Uh, yeah, we're going to play the song, and then we're going to leave. So yeah. You guys have a good week. We'll talk to you Wednesday. Peace, yo. Crackle, crackle.